It's no secret that real estate is one of the best investment vehicles out there. But how can we determine which strategies will best align with our financial ambitions? Well, you've come to the right spot. Whether you're an active real estate entrepreneur, a passive investor, or looking to get into real estate investing, our goal is to provide investors with the insights and strategies for building our portfolios all while protecting our capital. I'm Daniel Nichols, and this is the Two Smart Assets Real Estate Investing Podcast. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another Off the Beaten Path episode. And with us today is Brian Wagers, partner at Elevate Commercial Investment Group. All right, Brian, what's your number one tip, tool, or resource for investors, entrepreneurs, or anyone who's looking to go off the beaten path to create success? I would have to say my number one tip is, is to take massive action. Um, you know, you, you hear it all the time, but you don't want to be the person that's been thinking about doing something for the past couple of years that Oh, I was thinking about doing that. You know, really the key to success is, is moving forward on your goal, setting goals and taking action towards those goals. So for me, that's been super helpful for me. I, I went to school for economics and I was in the school of thought of, you know, underwriting everything and, you know, analyzing everything to death. But I really had to untrain myself to, to know, you know, you may not know everything you don't have to know every single detail before you, you take that leap of, of faith and action and towards whatever your goal is. So, you know, at some point you are going to have to take some sort of leap um, and take action towards your goals. I think that's so massive too, because I think a lot of people, they build the, and I've done this myself personally, this has happened to me as well. You build these self-limiting beliefs, right? And they kind of just stick with you. And, but like you said, you've had to train yourself to get out of that, right? And then uh, how do you feel about the way you are now? So obviously you've, you've taken yourself out of that. You've taken massive action. I mean, you built a huge portfolio there in Northwest Arkansas. Now you're doing amazing things with Elevate. Um, is this something else I have it for you? Just basically taking massive action. Have you built this now into this being like, hey, this is just this is just who I am? Yeah, I think it is something that's built in to who I am. I mean, people always ask me if I was military or anything like that, or like that. The, my dad's side was military. My mom's side was entrepreneurship. Um, and I think maybe having that in the background has always been good. But for me, I've been waiting on people. Like I've, I've been on the side of the aisle where I'm waiting on the answer for someone else. And for me, I, I don't want someone ever, I don't want to ever have to delay someone. I don't want someone, mm. something being held up. Uh, on my account. So I like to always try to, to put my best forth, my best effort out there and, you know, leave it at that. If I know I did my best, then, you know, what else is there to do? So um, I, I think that's part of the the whole mindset of, of taking that, that massive action. And I think, you know, a lot of people do deal with limiting beliefs, right? Like, hey, you know, the, the just fear starts creeping in, right? But I think that the idea, you know, the being able to look at yourself and be like, hey, I can do this. Other people have done this. I can do this. Let's just go. Let's just go try this. What's the worst that can happen, right? And I'm not saying I'm not saying jump into something with no education. That's not what I'm saying, right? I'm saying get educated, get some experience, whatever. But take the massive actions, like you're saying, because you're going to look back 10, 15 years, maybe even maybe even five years or less, and you're like, man, I wish I would have done that. At least tried it, right? So I think that's that's a, definitely a big point. Um, and you know, you're living you're living proof that you can do this, right? And so uh, I absolutely love to see that, dude. But uh, thanks for sharing 100%. that, Brian. Thanks for sharing that, Brian. Um, before we get out of here, though, tell the listeners how they can find out more about you and your business. Yeah, you can find me wherever you are on social media, Brian Wagers, uh, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, or you can shoot me an email at brian at elevatecig.com. Awesome, Brian. You guys are doing big stuff. Excited to follow along with you guys on your journey. Thanks again for coming on the show, man. Appreciate it. Hey, real quick before we get out of here, as you guys know, I'm a huge fan of passive real estate investing. And as a busy W-2 professional working in the oil and gas industry, this type of investing has been a complete game changer for me. It's allowed me to build income streams faster, access private off-market opportunities, and bring stability to my portfolio by investing in hard assets like apartments and self-storage facilities. So if you're looking to learn more about these types of opportunities, I highly suggest you check out Upstream Equity. Whether you work in the oil and gas industry like me or you're a busy professional looking to grow your investment portfolio, Upstream Equity is your go-to source for passive real estate investing. They do all the heavy lifting for you, from building strategic relationships with best-in-class operators to finding quality passive income opportunities. Upstream Equity truly makes this a hands-off experience. To find out more, go to upstreaminvestor.com. Once again, that's upstreaminvestor.com.